guys welcome back to the gimpy jeep guy here we are tonight doing kind of another little project for the garage or actually for the house so i don't know if it's a thing but we're gonna go with work on the house wednesday i don't know sure why not sounds good so what we're gonna do tonight is i actually bought a early 1950s willie pick willie's pickup grill from a guy up in northern utah and he had it wired up so that the headlights work on it so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go ahead and get it wired so we can get it hung up on the house. And then we're going to get it hung up on the house, plug it into an Alexa plug, so that way it will go on at night and stay on all night and uh, light up our entryway. So I had one kind of like this before, but this one's going to be a lot cooler. So real excited about that. So let me go ahead and turn on the camera, show you what we're going to be doing tonight. So here we have our beautiful assistant, um, Simple Sarah, and she is going to be getting this put on to, with some uh, piano, or excuse me, not piano, picture hanging wire. And so this is stuff that we've got that we hung up all the grills behind me with. It's this little two millimeter picture hanging wire. And so what we do is we found a couple existing holes on the grill. For this one, we're actually gonna hook it over here on the side where the grill would normally attach to the fenders. We're gonna hook that on. We got these little crimpers, these little, I think they call them barrels that we'll put on there. And then we crimp it down and that will go ahead and create some tension, kind of like a Chinese finger trap. And that will hold the wire in there, run the wire all the way across to the other side. And then we will go out and we're actually gonna pre-drill some holes into the stucco. And then we're gonna nail these little anchors into the, this, the side of the house out there the same the exact thing that we did with all of the grills behind me and that worked just fine going into the drywall so i think this should work perfect for tonight and what we're going to be doing so we're going to get this all done and ready to go and then we've got another hood that we're going to get ready to hang up and once we get this grill done then we're going to work on same concept with the hood and then we're going to get that hood hung up right up there above our toolbox and uh one little step at a time getting the adam's bed and garage all ready and prepared so here we go all right, Simple Sarah, what are we going to do here? First, you got to measure because you got to know how long you want your wire. It comes in this big old spool, so you don't want anything small. So I don't like being wasteful, but with this, trust me, more is better. So I go from one hole and I always give myself a little bit more because this wire doesn't bend very well. So you're going to end up bending this wire and crimping it to itself, and then you'll cut off the excess. So the first thing I do is I measure from the hole and give myself extra so it can bend. Then I move it to the other side and do the same thing. And then I decide where I'm going to cut. So you're going to take your little crimpers and they actually have cutters with it as well. And with the crimpers, depending on what barrels you get, there's different size crimpers. Make sure you get the right size. If not, it's not going to help you. Put these in the crimpers. One size work, one side here works better than the other, and I can't remember which side's which, so we'll try this one. Oh, I got the right side. Yay! Alright. And then you just go from one hole to another. You're gonna put your barrel on first. We also have two different size barrels, so if I have to go get another one, I'm sorry. All right, put the barrel on first, thread it through the hole, bring it back up and over, and pull it out a little bit. You can cinch it up like you would a necktie later, but you want it a little bit out so you can work with it. The last thing you want is to have all of this just sitting out there. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is you do get a nice clean cut when you're cutting that wire, because if it splays out at all, it's virtually impossible to get through those little barrels. So it'll make sure it's a nice clean cut. These little crimper tools usually do a good job. You could also use some heavy duty wire cutters or something like that. So there we go, she's got that slit on there. Now we're gonna take the little crimping tool and basically you squeeze it down, putting as much pressure as you can. 
You want to do it sideways like she is. You can see she's crimping it sideways against the, the edges of the barrels instead of squeezing it like you'd normally think like with a butt connector for wiring. So that way it's putting as much pressure on that wire on the inside as well. Now we will be doing another full video showing the entire process of how we hung up all my grills behind me. But this is basically the concept. So I'm going to go ahead and let Simple Sarah work on this, get the other side done. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get the grill all washed just with some Dawn soap and some water. And then we'll uh, join you outside where we're going to go ahead and drill some holes into the stucco and put in these little wall anchors. So we'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so we're out here by our entryway and we've got a HUD and got our first uh, little anchor in. Unfortunately, as oftentimes happens, things don't always go exactly according to plan. So those little anchors that we had weren't quite long enough to get through the stucco and into the sheeting underneath. They're more designed to go just through drywall. So instead we had to go to plan B and we had to go to just a regular three inch wood screw that we're then gonna rest the wire on. So we've got the first one on. The fan shroud on the back of the grill is about 18 and a half inches across. So we're gonna go ahead and put these at 16 inches. And that way that should give us enough room to be able to go ahead and hang that wire on the back of the grill and have it hanging on those little screws there going into the wall. So we figured this is a pretty good height. We measured and we're going to have the headlights hopefully right about six and a half feet or so off the ground, a little bit higher than eye level. So when you're walking into the door, it's not going to blind you, but it should provide some good ambient light up here in the entryway. So Simple Sarah's putting this second three inch wood screw in, making sure that we're getting good solid purchase at the sheeting underneath. So it'll be able to hold up the, the weight of the grill without any problem. We are putting these screws in at just a little bit of an angle, about 10 degrees. That way it should be able to, to hold and support the grill without too much problem. So we're leaving those screws sticking out there, as you can see, probably about half an inch. And now because I am super anal about it, I always want to make sure that things are level. So we're going to toss the level up there on top of the two screws. And good, nice and level. That's what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out just some mild dish soap. We're going to wash the grill off, just get kind of the 80 almost years worth of dirt and grime and gunk off it. Make sure it's nice and pretty. And then we're going to go ahead and hang it up on the wall. And then we'll go ahead and route the cord to our plug, which is right around the corner. And then this thing should be good to go. So one step at a time, we're gonna go ahead and get it washed. Be back in a minute. Oh. Okay, so here we go. We're just kind of washing the, the dirt and grit and grime off of it. You know, this grill is at least 75 years old. And so just for you to give it a nice little bath before you hang it up on the wall. So just a little bit of mild, dish soap. We typically use Dawn because it's good at cutting through the grease and stuff like that. And just washing through, getting in all the little cracks and crevices. You know, Simple Sarah here and her day job is a house cleaner and does an excellent job. So when it comes to cleaning, she's our girl. But we don't want to get it too wet because we don't want to get the electrical wires and stuff wet. So we're just kind of doing it by hand. When we're all finished here, we'll give it a good rinse off and then get it hung up on the wall because the wires ran and called this part of the project done. So one little step closer. All right, so we have the grill all washed and cleaned. Simple Sarah's got it all ready to go. So now she's gonna go ahead and get it up here and get that wire so it will catch the heads of those screws there. It's almost easier said than done. One, two, three. So it's kind of like hanging up a picture frame. You got to kind of catch the screws where they're hanging out of the wall. But luckily with this, it's got the holes in the grill. So you can kind of reach through and kind of line it up where it needs to be. So as long as it catches the heads of both screws, we'll kind of get it there, get it sitting there. And then we'll go ahead and grab the level, make sure that it is level. And then we're going to go ahead and after that, we're going to run the cord down, get the cord attached to the wall so it can't move and then plug it into our Alexa plug. And I think it's gonna be awesome looking once it's lit up to light up our little entryway here. 
So a simple series grabbing that level. And then as soon as she gets back, we'll double check that, get the wire attached, and boom, done. All right, so here we are. We're just getting in the little wire hangers. That way the wire will hang nice and flat going all the way down, and it's less likely to get caught in the wind or blow around or move or anything like that. So we've got the first one installed up here. You can kind of see, just kind of holding that wire, and then the wire running nice and well, straight as we can get it down to the ground, we're going to put the other one in here. We may end up needing to put another one in the middle, but I'm hoping that these two will be able to hold it. And then we're going to go ahead and run the wire over to the plug, which gratefully is pretty close, just around the corner. And then we should be able to get it plugged in and ready to go. Got it? No. No? Uh-oh. Almost. We'll be back. Okay, so we went ahead and we got the wire run here. See, we got it coming down here, over around the corner. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite long enough to reach all the way over to our plug. So we had to kind of put a little outdoor, or a little indoor plug out here for now. And eventually we'll rewire it because we're going to put some marker lights in it. When we do that, we'll do a longer wire so therefore we don't have to have a second extension cord. But... We already have our Alexa plug already set up over here in our little junction box. And so, Simple Sarah, you ready to plug it in? Let's see if it works. Yes. All right, go ahead. Woohoo! There it is. I am super, super duper happy with that. I think that looks great here. So that way everybody walking into our front door can see that. And I think it'll give the outside of the house a really cool and a unique feature. So, thank you for joining us tonight. Unfortunately, we kind of ran out of time. We're not going to get to our hood projects. We'll have to do that for a different day. But we got the grill hung up. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks great. And uh, we'll see you next time. Signing off from the Adams Bend Garage, we have Simple Sarah and me, David, the Gimpy Jeep Guy. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment on any questions or things you have about our videos. We'll see you soon.